this video, I'm going to be doing kind of an in-depth tutorial on 3-3 odd. I really want to break this down because I feel like this is probably one of the best defenses in this game that is not double mug. So if you're looking for something a little different, this is what I've been doing. And I'm going to explain kind of the why behind the what in this video. So a little bit more in-depth of a breakdown. If you guys want to check out my entire 3-3 odd defense, make sure that you join the school community as I do, uh, I am going to be putting an ebook in there. I already have kind of an in-depth guide to it, but we're going to be doing a little bit more of an ebook specific thing with this with official setup. So anyways, if you want to check out the school community, the link's going to be in the description, but let's talk about this defense. So what makes this defense good? Uh, basically what makes this defense good is the fact that you can get pretty good pressure. Um, like you can actually get people completely free through the A-gap and I'll kind of explain that first off. So like if I, I'm going to turn auto flip on for this and uh, you don't have to have baseline on, we're just going to literally just, just come out and ball. And I'm just going to come out in, I want to have the play in my audibles. I want to have hot blitz three or overload three seam, either one of those. And then I'm going to come out in cover three cloud. Okay. So when you have auto flip on, this is kind of the basic deal. All right. So the reason that this is really a good defense is because most of the time in this game, you're going to see a lot of people running five out because there's not really a good blitz threat. So the way that we're going to blitz here is we're just going to show blitz. And when you show blitz, it puts these guys in the A-gaps. The other thing that's really interesting about this defense in particular is if you pinch your defensive line, you're going to get a little better alignment than you would out of like dollar uh, for like run defense and stuff like that. So I like that as well. But then if we just blitz this linebacker on the left side of the screen, oftentimes you're going to get instant A-gap pressure. Of course, we didn't in our first rep, but I'll show that again. We'll leave the line spread out, and you'll probably see it a little bit better here. So just show blitz, blitz your linebackers, and then you can just put your user in whatever zone you want if you want to switch stick. And Hassan Riddick is kind of ruining the video. I think I'm going to take Hassan Riddick out of defensive tackle just because he's um, – so if you guys didn't know, if you have, like, abilities on your D linemen, sometimes they engage with the offensive line. It's super weird. So we're just going to move him so that that doesn't happen and we're going to get into this so show blitz global blitz we'll see if we can finally get a blitz to come in okay <laughs> okay well all right let me get to the let me get to like the the crux of this so i want to show this one more time there's no there's <laughs> there's no way that this shouldn't come in let's uh let's crit let's pinch our line down or crash our line down there you see the A gap. <laughs> so you see that we have this A gap. So this A gap is really good because you can get it. Um, you can get it only sending four or two. Like if I want to zone this guy on the right side, that's fine. This year you can actually do that. And oftentimes the A gap will still come in through the A gap. But the thing that I think is really interesting about this defense is really the weakness of it is it's kind of obvious here that we're going to blitz this guy through the A gap. So what you're going to see is they're just going to block their running back, and the running back will pick this guy up, as you see right there. But the running back will only pick that guy up consistently if he is on the same side as the blitzer. So let's say that the running back was over here. If the running back's over here, a lot of times what will happen is this blitz will still come in through the A-gap, as you see. So the placement of the running back kind of triggers the pass protection within the offensive line, it, it kind of triggers how they're going to pick this up. So we move him over again, and hopefully you'll see here we have a much better chance of coming free. The center is just psychic this year. It's insane. <laughs> um, let me uh, slant my line down. So you see here we're going to slant line down, and you see, see how the running back stays to the right. That's the thing I want you to see. Another thing you can do in this game is when you do this slant, go ahead and QB contain. It'll kind of open things up a little bit. And let me block the running back. So this would, like, obviously imitate, like, bunch strong offset, bunch X nasty. And you see there that this pressure is pretty decent, right? Okay. So... The question becomes, what do you do with the running back if the running back's on the left side? The best thing, in my opinion, to do is audible to hot blitz three. And you see when we show blitz, now the A gap is going to come from the right side of the screen. So we're just going to zone out this left side guy 
going to stand about right here, and you're going to see that a gap comes in off the right side of the screen. So the reason that it's good that it comes in off the right side of the screen is because, show blitz, if they block a running back, your user is going to bring him to the left, and you're going to have a really good chance of this a gap coming in. So let me show you this again. The other thing with Hot Blitz 3, the actual setup of the Blitz would be to slant down, contain, and then zone out the left side guy. But you see, now we have the, see what I'm saying? Okay, so let's go and replay and kind of explain why this is really good. So the reason that this is really good is because the running back on the left side doesn't normally go over and pick up the A-gapper on that side. So what this allows you to do is kind of scheme around this. So let's say... Let's say we were facing something that wasn't bunch. Let's say we were facing trips. Okay, so trips tied in, and we come out in our base coverage, which is cover three cloud. Okay, so once we get out here, well, if you are playing trips, I would recommend base aligning, or even just cover zero shell. And let's say we come out in, we actually just come out in man. I think man's really good against trips this year. So you see this is what the play looks like. Okay, so if I was to blitz on this left side, you'll see here we get really good pressure. But the problem is if they were to block a running back and we do the same thing, running back will pick that A gap blitzer up. Now, honestly, it's not terrible because you can still shed and all that's fine. But what's really interesting is let's say that they do the blocked running back but I go to, um, well actually, I don't want to go to this. We'll go to pinch, uh, pinch zero here. So now if you look at the play, the running back is, is really the, or the, um, the blitz is threatening off the left side, okay? So you see that we have a, you see how the running back kind of stays to the right side of the screen? So we're able to essentially, and we would have to come out in the play. When you audible to a play, So what you might honestly want to do is just come out in regular pinch, but let's see here. So I'll just come out and pinch, show blitz. Now what we can do against trips is we can blitz this guy. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, we can blitz this guy in, and then we can kind of move like so. Now, again, I know it's a lot of adjustments. I'm going to get to that in a minute. But as you see here, we should be able to get this A-gap coming through the left side. This is why I think Hot Blitz 3, Overload 3's press, those kind of defenses are really good because they can they can manipulate a blocked running back. So we'll just kind of leave it like this for now. And we'll man this guy up on the running back. I want to show you this five man. So I'm going to block my running back here. And you see that this comes through the A-gap against a blocked running back. So at this point, if you want to run this defense with auto flip on, what I recommend is probably running just pinch or hot blitz. If you want to run zone, hot blitz. If you want to run pinch, uh, man coverage if you want to man, run man coverage but you see here is let's say i block my tight end now you see we're still screaming through the a gap so you come through the a gap now what's important is let's say you're playing a formation and this is why i think it's important to be able to kind of adapt based off of, of what they do but let's say you're playing a formation like this bunch nasty so if you're playing a formation like bunch nasty and let's say you come out and pinch the problem with that is you're going to show blitz and you're going to set this up and the blitz is supposed to come in off this right side. Well, look at the blocked running back. He's going to be able to pick this up. He didn't there, but he, he's going to be able to pick that up, right? So what you can do is you see them go to Bunch Nasty, then you go to any play in your playbook, like Tampa 2, Cover 3 Sky, and then you just blitz this guy. And so now they can block the running back all they want, but they're not going to be able to get that pressure. So it's about basically usering on the running back side and blitzing opposite of the running back side is basically the gist of this defense and why it is really good. So let's kind of close this up here with a little bit of a, a, a tip or, or a method to running this. So auto flips on, auto alignment's going to be on default here, okay? And then what I would do is have in your audibles, like let's say you're running more zone coverage, I'd probably have cover three cloud in your audibles, or if you're running more man coverage, I'd probably have like a cover one robber in your audibles, right? 
And then it, you could also kind of fill this out with pinch and um, whatever this uh, cover three cloud or uh, hot, hot blitz three, sorry. There it is. Okay. So let's just base and um, let's just base in this overload three press just for idea here. So you see, like if I'm playing bunch offset, this is good. And the reason this is good is because I can now send this five man off this left side. And if they block the running back, I'm going to have a really good shot at this coming in that you see here. And if it doesn't come from the running back, it normally will come from the slot corner. I don't know why the slot corner. Oh, it's because I'm in a cover zero shell. Let me fix that too. So we would probably want to just be in a default shell. And I'll show this against blocked running back and all that stuff. All right, so now we're going to get a better alignment. So you see here, this is a blocked running back. And you see, didn't quite come in through the gap there, but let's see if I can get that to work better. Slant inside, zone this guy out. We should be able to come through the A-gap. There you see it. See how the running back is not blocking him? Okay, so then let's say they go, okay, well, you're blitzing off the right side every time, so I'm going to audible to this. So what you want to do then, you could e easily just flip your play. Um, but really, honestly, I think you might even be able to get away with just um, slant down, blitz linebackers, and then you're just going to switch your user. So you're going to now use her over here, like so. And you should see here that now if the running back's over here, they're not quite able to block, block the blitz that way. Right, he did get kind of hung up there, but you see the concept here. So again, let me just audible now to this side. So if we see this audible, we're already in this alignment, right? And we've already slanted our line down, right? So what we want to do here is, well, normally we're using over here. Well, we just want to switch. Um, of course, this game. You just want to switch over here now and then you can put the slot corner on whatever you want and you're going to send the blitz like this. And so now, you see he's trying to come through the A-gap there. Let's try to show this again one more time. I think you can also just, let me see if I can just slant my line to the right here. You can also audible to a different coverage. Let's show you. Let's see here. And there you see it. Okay, so then let's say they block a running back, or they block a tight end now. I'm pretty sure this A-gap will still come through the A-gap, or a loop, or we max pro there, sorry. Let me put this um, running back on a route, and then we'll block the tight end. Eh, it kind of played it pretty good. So basically block tight end might be the method to, to stopping this. Let's slant inside this time and zone out. Let's see if we can't get this thing to come around. Yeah, it's not coming in super good against the block tight ends. That might be the main thing. Most people aren't going to want to block their tight end. The main thing here is that we're able to get this in consistently if they block a running back. I do think that, that you want to be in either pinch or hot blitz three. So if you're in hot blitz three, and let's say they block a tight end. Let's say you want to send six. I think hot blitz three could be your method. But the other thing about this is let's say let's say they are blocking that tight end. I think the contain will kind of let the slot corner loop around a lot better. You see how that corner loops around the tight end better? So that's another little nugget in this video that you're kind of seeing. But in general... You know, to me, it's about usering on the side of the running back and then sending this guy on the other side. Sometimes if you send four, sometimes it can actually still come in as well. But by doing that, you know, basically what you're going to get is you're going to get decent pressure against different situations. So let's say, like I played trips last night and kind of struggled against it. Let's say I'm playing like trips, and let's say they're running verticals, for example. We don't have to, um, we'll just use hot blitz three. So let's show blitz. 
so we can do basically this coverage defense, right? Now, of course, you know, you can tweak it a little bit. Like, let's say you want to do something like this. It's one of my favorite ways to defend trips, you know. But the other thing is, the cool part is, the blitz is coming right down the middle. So they're not going to have a ton of time. And I don't think you need to send the blitz every play. But I do think it's, it's a pretty good defense. So the other cool part about this defense is you can slant inside and you will get really good sheds. So, like, let's say I'm playing trips, right? and I want to play a little bit more like coverage, this is a pretty good coverage for trips. And you're going to get, look at these sheds, look at these disengages. It's kind of similar to double mug. It's not going to be as good of a disengage as double mug, but it's going to be decent enough to where, you know, I think it's, I think it's a super hard, it's just a, it's a good defense, honestly. Um, so here, so you do something like this, and this is a send four, right? This is a send four. Watch the send four, and you're just trying to basically disengage. Now, another thing you can do is you can send, what I like about this is you can send three, too. So, like, let's say I want to send three. So, let's say maybe I cross man the tight end, right? And we do something like, like this. This is a send three. You want to keep your blitzer and user, but watch this. Watch these three-man sheds. They're going to get super deep in the pocket, kind of like double mug. It's not as good as double mug, but it's similar. And then, you know, they start doing whatever. And now we send this defense and try to get them. And then let's say they flip. Or they, and, and normally they won't like. Normally they won't flip, but let's say like it's again. Let's go back, kind of back to that bunch strong example. So like if I'm in bunch, let's say that I uh, audible to bunch nasty to try to pick this up because you're using over here. Now all you got to do is slant your line inside user over here. Now, whoops, mess this up. Totally mess this up. We fix that. Um, you know, so basically you use it over here, and you can send the pressure. This might not come in, right? But you see, there you go. So it's a really good pressure for five out because the pressure is always going to come through the A gap quick. And then if they do block a running back with like hot blitz, for example, if they block a running back, you should still be fine. And look at that. I mean, that's a cool. So I think it's a neat little blitz. And what I would do kind of behind this defense, I'll show you kind of an interesting thing with coverage. So what I would do behind this defense is you could go to this package called uh, free safety inside. And what this will allow you to do is it allow you to put your safeties in thirds. So I think the best way to play defense in this game is like a cover three cloud like this. And I'd probably soft squat over here on the right. But basically like this, and then having a flat. So you could realistically play a legitimate defense like this. Now, I would probably put my user in a hook curl, mid-read or something. You know, but essentially here, we're just going to get over here. And you're going to see that these outside thirds will do a really good job of defending kind of short corners, deep, basically, flat, basically outside. And then you can kind of work in the middle. Another way I like to play defense is um, shaded down yellow, shaded down hook curls like this, and then you know, kind of my user responsibility here. So, I think honestly, it's probably best like this. Let's see here, and some occasionally we might, you know, maybe we'll zone this guy out, play like this, but. That's pretty much the 335 odd stuff that I like to do. Again, I, I really like the roll coverage this year. So just simply outside third, soft squat. And then your primary responsibility here is going to be uh, the tight end. Another thing you could do if you want to is you can kind of lurk on this right side guy. And I don't know why that didn't come in, but. And some of this is like practice mode, just kind of, I feel like blitzes, 
they like have like adaptive AI on blitzes or something in this game. But, but yeah, this is kind of what I'm doing. Um, the one thing you can do with this linebacker on the left side is you can man him up like this defensive end. You can man up these guys on players. It's like cross man the tight end for fun. We'll just see what happens. Yeah, you see it's pretty decent. So I don't think there's like a su super big difference in this game of zoning this guy out or zoning this guy out. So like what you could also do here to kind of open up this A gap a little bit better is you can take this defensive end, put him in a hard flat, and, and let that outside guy kind of rush. This will kind of open that, that angle up a little bit better. And you see we're able to get this blitz in. And then let's say that they go, again, let's say they go to, like, running back on the side of the blitz. Then really what I would do is just slant your line to the right, globally blitz your linebackers, and you see it's going to create this look. So we can kind of do it on the fly here. And then I would zone out this outside corner or the slot corner, which you can now put in an outside third, and then basically kind of run the defense like this. Let's we'll see if we can get this to come in. Yeah. Blitzing is so, like, <laughs> finicky in this game. And that's actually why I kind of tend to think that if you crash down, it'll be better for you. So here, I'm gonna, instead of crashing right, I'm going to crash down, and then we're going to take the slot corner. So, like, you would have already had, like, basically your coverage would probably look something like this, right? So then all we're going to do is we're just going to basically put the safety in the middle third like this. Oh, let's see if we can't get this in. He's wanting to come, He wants to come in so bad, it's crazy. And very few, like, obviously this is a bunch strong, nasty, of course. But, like, if they run this, I feel like you're in a decent enough spot because, mo like, a lot of the main safe formations are going to have running back and running back's going to be on your user side. So it's going to be very simple just to call overload three seam or hop, hop blitz three. But then if they do go to this, let's see if we can uh, get this in a little better. I really like slant line right. Let's try pinching the line. I want to be able to pinch the line because I feel like the pinch line is going to be really good for Rundy. We'll just try it. Yeah, it wants. Yeah, I think you're going to have to crash your line down. I feel like when you crash your line down in this game, I've talked about this before in videos, but I feel like when you crash your line down, the um, Even try like standing here. That's crazy though. That's not coming in. <laughs> I feel like when you crash your line down though in this game, the uh, the defensive tackle engages with the center better than if you crash to a side. So I'm gonna crash down or crash. Um, yeah, crash down. Let's see if this works. Yeah, he's trying to come in. That's crazy that he's not actually doing it, though. Let's try one more time. Okay. So they go to this. You simply... I wonder if you could just blitz this guy and just run like, like this. We'll just try this for fun. This might be it. Get a little B-gap. Yeah, it's uh this game is so frustrating. This game is so frustrating, guys, on defense because like you see what I'm trying to do and it's clearly like pretty good. It just like it, it's like it just won't like final finally come through. Let's try pinching the D-line. Um, let's just see. There we go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's so – like, he just keeps getting kind of caught up. I'm trying to think how I would – how I would, 
how we can keep this guy from getting caught up. I'm not even sure. Like spread line, maybe? I don't want to spread my line, though, because I want the run D. That's crazy. Let's try. Let's try. Uh, bun let's let's just come out. Let's just come out and work against bunch strong nasty itself. Because clearly we understand like how to get pressure against like regular bunch or regular trips. It's really just overload, overload press or hot blitz three. But let's see if we can let's see if we can live lab this, and get this to work against bunch nat uh, bu against bunch. I think honestly another thing you could do. I go back. I keep going back to this like audible audible to cover three cloud. And for some reason, the blitz angle in this is really favorable to to getting that left side gap. So if you just, you know, basically you have cover through cloud in your audibles, they audible to this, you go, okay, I'm going to go cover through cloud, show blitz, and then, you know, basically send it like this. And of course, <laughs> it just randomly doesn't work. I, it, 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 this game is is like absolutely wild on defense, man. Like it works, and then it just doesn't want to work. Let's try uh, maybe standing a little more over this way. <laughs> you see it trying to come in. That's crazy. Another thing you can do if all else fails, just pinch, crash down, blitz linebackers, show blitz. If all else fails, you can just do this. A lot of times you're going to get something. You're either going to get a B gap, you're going to disengage something. I will show you one other thing that you can do that I do think is kind of decent. You have cover three in your audibles. Put this Sam Mike press in your audibles. So we're going to come out in this, but then let's say they audible or they come out in this, right? Then we come and we're just going to audible to Sam Mike press and we're just going to show blitz and basically just run this defense. What you're going to get here is you're going to get kind of a loop through the B gap if he would not run his blitz like a dummy. What do you see here? See how he kind of loops through like that? So that's another option. Like if you feel like the A-gap is just consistently not working for you, you can have that in your audibles, and a lot of times that will help. So you have that. Or ultimately, I do think like just audibling to cover three cloud is probably going to give you your best shot. And there you see it works. <laughs> and again, this is like, you see how finicky prax mode is. Like, it'll work, and then, like, it'll randomly just not. And I think it's because there's some kind of, like, adaptive AI stuff going on. But basically, here we go. Blocked running back. And you see see how he's coming in? Again, he didn't quite finish, the, finish it, but he's, he's right there. Like, you can see the concept is clearly pretty decent and then i think in in this defense actually so you come out and overload three seam you see oh the running backs over there we'll just audible to cover three cloud show blitz global blitz and then i'm gonna mess around with like standing over here but i don't think you can i think you have to stand more towards the guard but basically your job is to pull the guard out of the way well, let's see if we can get this to work That's crazy. <laughs> and you see if it doesn't work, you're going to get some kind of disengage or whatever. But we want that A-gap to come in. Let's try. Maybe standing more here. <laughs> oh, man, the centers in this game, they just like they're basically psychic. So that's what I'm doing. I feel like the only thing it really struggles against is like this. Because I feel like you could literally run Hot Blitz 3 against pretty much every base offense in the game. It's when they start putting that running back in the position to pick up the A-gap that I think it's a little bit more difficult. But I also think, like, I think slant inside is probably honestly the move. Because slant inside, you're going to get this. Yeah, there it is. Let me show that one more time. So kind of what we're learning here is with overload three, you can just slant inside and send it. Send it. Um, that's weird that that happened. But you basically can just send it off this this edge, and this will work if they send five out, as you see. But if they block the running back on that side, what you want to do is you want to audible. Um, you don't. I don't even think you necessarily have to audible. I probably would audible like to cover the cloud, 
show blitz, global blitz linebackers, slant line inside, and then basically just try to get this guard out of the way. And a lot of times he'll come in. He's, he's not there, but he, he will. We, we showed you that a couple times. So that's a way that you can kind of get the pressure uh, to come in. Let's see. I really think pinching the line should be better than it is. Let's, um, let's just try this for fun. Yeah, there you see it kind of trying to come in. So this is the 335 odd defense. Uh, this is the concept. Again, against 99.9% .9 of players, if they're running regular bunch, if they're running trips, if they're running any of these kind of formations like this, you want to be in overload three press. Just simply show blitz, and pretty much this, this blitz will hum, even against a blocked running back, as you see. If they go to bunch strong, like this, where the running back's on the side that you want the blitz to come in, what I would do is audible out or have or, or just adjust out and use her over here now and then just slant your line to the right, blitz the linebacker, and you see this is what we're going for now. And basically just run down like this, and you see we're able to get the pressure to come in. So this is kind of the pressure aspect of the defense. Obviously, there's a lot more to unpack, run defense, coverage adjustments, all that. That is all going to be available in our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. If you want to sign up for that, the link is in the description below. And thanks for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, kind of a little bit more of an in-depth tutorial about how a defense works. And uh, I want to see if you guys enjoy it or not. Let me know in the comments.